Hey guys, what's going on? Busy Dad here, you there, and we are back into spoiler season with the first round of spoilers from Echoes of the New World, the final set of the Lapis Cluster. And it's so crazy to think that this year went by really fast because I remember when the Lapis Cluster was just getting ready to debut, and now we here we are taking a look at the last set. So the year went by quick. And uh, we've gotten an, a good amount of new subscribers since the last spoiler season. So again, hello to everybody and thank you. And f f for those who don't know or just need to be reminded, when it comes to spoilers, I will check out the first few rounds, usually go through the new rulers, and then I go dark because I like to be surprised when the new set uh, finally comes out and I get my box and I open the pack. So let's check out the first round which is light and we're going to go to our ruler which is the book of light cool looking book so it is a fairy tale ruler with the judgment of x and the energize of one light so it looks like we're done with the dual attribute rulers at, at least on the surface you know we can't be for sure uh also uh, the energize of one light but check this out you cannot have cards with will of despair in your deck and you may pay the attribute cost of cards with Will of Hope, with Will of any attribute. We're going to see that Will of Despair and Will of Hope, these are not races, uh, more just card sublevels or subtype of cards. And it also is a little bit of a nod back to the Grim Cluster, where I believe the uh, in the, the two towers set, the, uh, the Dark Tower was the Tower of Despair, and the Light Tower was the Tower of Hope. So a good little nod there. But let's see what the x is when we flip the card over to re-earth a new world fairy tale artwork looks, looks cool so it's still a fairy tale j ruler and this card cannot be destroyed and you'll also notice there are no stats no attack or defense so it's not going to be fighting either you still may pay the attribute cost of cards with will of hope with will of any attribute so i i kind of glossed over that on the ruler side the bottom ability there it's kind of like milium how you can pay the attribute cost of fairy tales with uh, any attribute it's going to be the same here with uh, the book of light uh, any will of hope card that you have can be paid with any attribute so it kind of opens up your stone base a little bit especially if you're heavy on the will of hope uh, when this card enters your field you may put a resonator with will of hope with total cost x or less you own from outside the game into your field so there's the x we wanted to see exactly what the x was uh, so this is going to be digging into your sideboard for a resonator with whatever cost you pay whatever the x is as long as it's will of hope you can take that out of your sideboard um, and put it into the field also says uh you own from outside the game. So maybe that's the RFG area too. I believe that counts too. Uh, when a resonator put in a field by this card leaves a field for a non-field zone, put this card into your ruler area as a ruler. Okay, so when that resonator then is taken out of the field, this card flips back over to the Book of Light to where then you can pay the X to J activate again and put another Will of Hope resonator uh, from outside the game into the field. So kind of interesting, just like all the rulers, when I first see them, it's going to uh, depend on their support card. So let's check them out. And here's our first look at a resonator, and it is Zero, the King's Blade, a two-drop, six sages resonator, too late to play, 600 attack and defense. And here's the Will of Hope uh, subtype or sublevel. So this is a Will of Hope card. And also with Quick Cast, really cool to see. Uh, your opponent cannot draw more than one card each turn. That's tremendous. That is huge. So uh, Tom is not going to hit them anymore. The Guinevere's or the Alice Scouts, uh, any of those rewriting laws, anything that they play where it says draw a card, it's not going, they're not going to be able to draw anymore. Only one per turn. Resonators you control cannot be returned to their owner's hand, which is kind of cool. Uh, that's more of a uh, blue spell or an Apollo sending stuff back. Uh, especially if you have control of one of your opponent's resonators, it can't be returned. So kind of like that ability too. Here's Milliam, successor of the future. A three drop, one light, two of other human resonator, 800 attack and defense, another will of hope card. Other resonators with will of hope, you control, gain plus two, plus two, and barrier. Good to see. And here's a new keyword, which is seal. A seal of five. So this card will gain the following text as long as you control five or more magic stones. It will also gain barrier. So uh, the seal here is a set number of magic stones that you're going to need to control in order to activate the ability. Uh, what they're, they're calling it release. So the seal will be released if you control five magic stones in this case. So that's kind of interesting. Milliam's going to protect all your other 
Will of Hope resonators, just like Arla, protects all the other flyers. And uh, if you control five or more magic stones, Milliam is going to get Barrier himself. Here's Pandora, Queen of Miracles. And out of all the spoilers in this round, this is my favorite looking card. The artwork is the best on this card. So a two-drop human resonator, one light, one of other to play, 400 attack, 700 defense, another Will of Hope card. And whenever a J resonator you control blocks, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. But check this ability out. Release the seal abilities of light cards and spells you control. So if Pandora is on the field and we play a Milliam, all other Will of Hope card, uh, all other Will of Hope resonators are going to get barrier. But now that the seal has been released because of Pandora, Milliam's going to get his barrier too. So that is pretty cool. Uh, Pandora will just make sure no uh, seals have to be hit. They'll all be released as long as she's on the field. And here's Strange Miracle, a one-drop chant that's also ancient magic. So one light to play. You cannot be targeted by spells or abilities until end of turn. Draw a card. And here's a very high seal, a seal of seven. Uh, as you play this card, if you control seven or more magic stones, it's going to gain the following text. J resonators you control cannot be destroyed until end of turn. So um, not bad. I think that this would pack a lot more of a punch if it was a quick cast where we can make sure we're not targeted or make sure our J resonators can't be destroyed until the end of the turn. Uh, but maybe on your turn when you're making one final push to win the game, this will come in handy. Also to note, a seal of seven, that's pretty high. And I'm wondering if maybe the cards in this set will be kind of nudging the game to go a little longer, which I'm a big fan of. So again, we'll see. Very early. Too early to tell. A Sacred Record of Fairy Tales, a one-drop chant. We're only doing this on our turn. Look at the top four cards of your deck. You may reveal a card with Will of Hope from among them. Put them into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. So really good card for cheap. Uh, check out the top four cards. Look at them. See if any Will of Hopes are in there that you want. Grab it. Put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of your deck in any order. Good in the early game. And also good in the mid to late game because for one light, you go get the Will of Hope card out of that top four and then you can play it that turn. So um, can't complain about this card. Finally, today it's Riula's Volition. So it is a three drop quick cast chant. Here's something we could do at any time. One light, two of other to play. You also may pay one light and one of other less to play this card if it targets a J Resonator with Will of Hope. And that target J Resonator gains plus eight, plus eight barrier and flying until the end of turn. That's unbelievable, uh, especially if we can target a Will of Hope Resonator. It's only going to cost one light to give our to give that J Resonator all these symbol skills and like our zero uh, Resonator is Will of Hope and is six, six. For one light, we could turn her into a 14-14 flyer with barrier. That's just really crazy value for the one light. Pretty good also just for the three if we target any other resonator that's not a Will of Hope. But obviously the more insane value is with the Will of Hope resonators because it's only going to be one light. And that is it for today. Just a really quick round of spoilers. But it's interesting. We've got a couple of new uh, keywords here. A couple of new little techniques. So it definitely makes me interested to see the the other uh, rulers, the other uh, color combinations, and see what's going to go on there. But I want to know what you think. Let me know with a comment below. I always love our discussion. Like, share, subscribe. More videos coming. And now that we're in spoiler season, more spoilers too. And that's it for today, guys. Thanks for a few minutes. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.